Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. Another 4th of July event. So we've been doing lots and lots of these missions. So if you are stuck on any of the 4th of July, look across the channel. I've been putting out three videos a day so that way you guys can get this done. You've got 10 days left to get it done. I made a playlist of just Fishing Planet. So if you're stuck on any normal mission or any Fish Monster mission or any of these missions, Look across the channel and you will find it there in my playlist as Just Fishing Planet. So today we are doing the San Jenquin Sunken Canoe. Not quite sure where it is, so we're just going to jump straight into it. Spawn off the dock. We're going to jump on a boat and we're going to have a little look around and see if we are able... I thought he was on my boat then. To see if we are able to find this sunken canoe. So to start off with, let's... I guess we're going to follow it round. That's the best thing to do. We're going to follow it round, just keep going around the lake and eventually we're, we're going to come across it, I'm pretty sure. So if you are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Because when there is updates on this game, if it's a new lake, I'll always buy the new DLC live stream with face cam and mic. And I'll always be putting out um, the new missions and showing how and where to catch new unique fish. Those good, great hot spots, good hot spots, great hot spots. Showing all rods, reels, new tackle and everything that this game has to offer. I'm absolutely addicted to this game, so uh, yeah, that's a good reason to subscribe if you are too. I'll also let you guys know about the updates when updates drop and stuff like that. When it's little updates like this for missions, I'll just make videos of that because people prefer to watch a little short video rather than a stream that goes on for three, four hours. But uh, yeah, when there is a new lake, I do live stream straight away. Alright, so looking around, still no sign of a canoe just as of yet. So we're in San Jenquin, San Delta. Okay, still do not see a canoe just as of yet. So it's got to either be up here or down to the left. Oh, that looks like it there. Okay, that's it right there. There we go. Alright, so we found it. So you're going to need a boat for this one. Okay, let's drop anchor. <coughs> Alright, so we've got to get the relic chest. So let's change our lure. I'm going to put on a the big medium spoon again, just because it is quite a big hook. And then hopefully we get a chance to hook up that chest quicker. So sometimes when I've done these ones, these canoe missions like this um, the sunken canoe I've done all of these sunken canoes now I think this is the last one and since I've done all of them they are pretty easy to get to be honest I haven't it hasn't really taken me longer than I'd say maximum it's taken me is 10 minutes that's real time okay didn't light up green there so we didn't get it, it has to light up green when we cast near it Okay, let's go beside it like that. There we go, lit up green. So is what we need to do is we need to try and get snagged. And if we get snagged up, there might be a chance for us then to get that that chest. Okay, it didn't work, so I'm going to speed reel. Sometimes I've made a couple of these videos that I've made on the sunken canoe. I've managed to get it so quick within like the first three minutes of the video. But then sometimes I've had to put, I think so since I've done these videos of the sunken canoe, I think there's only been one video where I had to actually make an edit into it because it took me a little bit longer, which was that one that was probably around about a 10 minute mark. There was actually a fish chasing that then. <laughs> I don't want a fish, I want to get snagged. Alright, come on. There we go, so into a snag. There we go. Okay, so this could be it. We're at four minutes in, and it is, I think. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the relic metal chest. So these are relatively easy to do. It, just to mention, if you do not have a boat, <clears throat> you can always rent a boat. Or if not, the kayaks are pretty cheap to buy, so you could always buy a kayak also. So, um, yeah, you're definitely going to need either a kayak or some sort of boat transportation to get to this spot. So relic chest mission items that I'm pretty sure that's the last one let's see okay mission accomplished again 
all of by doing all of these missions you do need certain lures if you haven't got those lures you can always buy them from the shop with bait coins if you don't have bait coins you can always purchase bait coins from the shop from spending real cash to buy bait coins just to mention that so if anybody didn't know you can do that so San Jenquin sunken canoe hooray looks like we found the fragment for George Washington's sword then it says sword shard six so there is other missions on this which are fish tag missions and there's fish tag mission one uh, fish tag coordinates one coordinates two three four five and six and again all of those videos I have made and you'll find on the channel so if you're stuck on anything look there if you've got any comments of course you can leave that in the comment section below and I'll get back to you guys as quick as I can to answer all comments right there we go mission accomplished we finally got it so mission accomplished sword what was that trumpian restoration I don't know I heard a weird beep from my PC time to claim the righteous reward travel to Emerald Lake and restore George Washington statue so I'm gonna be doing that but I'm gonna make that as a separate video new mission cannon salute so if you let off cannonballs every day you gotta let off 50 cannonballs in total and then you will get this real so how to get cannonballs you can either purchase it with real money which is pretty cheap for four pound plus you get all the lures or cannonballs you can also get by going up to the flags pushing the flag and the flag goes up and <clears throat> sometimes you can get cannonballs from that also just by casting your lure just for fishing just keep spinning keep doing spinning luring top water bottom water and you will come across getting a few cannonballs for free I've got quite a few of those from this place in San Delta funny enough by using a um, crankbait I was using the crankbait and yeah I must have pulled in at least close to around about eight to ten I would have guessed of the cannonballs so pretty good I've been pushing out three to four videos a day so to keep an eye out so you don't ever miss as well as subscribe and you can also follow me on Twitter which is at uh, bubbles underscore my way or you can follow me on Instagram which is YT bubbles way I definitely recommend for you guys to follow on one or the other as well as subscribing just so that way you don't ever miss out on these updates because I push out so many videos in one day sometimes YouTube can't catch up with the amount of notifications that I'm pushing out so if you never want to miss follow us on one of those so that's it now that's all of them complete we've just got to restore his sword so again I'm gonna make that as a separate video that's gonna be coming straight after this one so keep an eye out for that and I'm gonna have to keep letting off the cannonballs um, I'm probably gonna do that keep letting the cannonballs off and again I'll make that as a different separate type of video as well so keep an eye out for that hope you guys did enjoy this one smack that like button if you're still enjoying fishing planet we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games I am out